Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I greet you with the greeting of Islam and peace be upon you all, inshallah. And uh, we are meeting again today in the English version of the uh, talk about social media. Uh, this talk is about the challenge, which we're going to be talking about it later on, not now, later on. Might not say much about uh, the complexity of creation of social media, but what we might look at is the challenge which who created the social media. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my colleague uh, Ahmed Sheikh and uh, uh, Ali Shawa who prepared the material and the presentation for me. If you look, if you actually following me, there's a Zoom link you can join that to see the presentation. Uh, there's some definition mentioned by Ahmed Sheikh. What do you mean by communication? What do you mean by social? Communication is a process of exchange. Exchange of what? Exchange of information, ideas, ideology, positions, situations, directions amongst individuals or organizations, internal or external. Yeah, but communication is a process of exchange. I communicate with you to understand something from you and you understand something from me. This is the word of in Arabic called tawasul. Uh, the social, the word social means weaving. Weaving of what? Netted of social relationship. Yani it, the uh, social for us is if you are knitting a, a jumper or knitting a tablecloth, or a scarf, or weaving and knitting the rugs that you are actually uh, walking and using it. This is the process of making the society. Okay. And this relationship is made out of awareness exchange, awareness exchange between groups and the individuals who are connected through living together in a society governed by accepted social relationship among themselves. So when they live together in a society, become social, so they, have, they are living according to accepted social relationship among themselves. Also, it is a system. Either this kind of relationship or the system made out of electronic in the social media. Uh, definition is, it's the system made out of electronic networks allowing their members, the members of the network, to open their personal accounts, then connecting this person account with other electronic social system through personal accounts of individuals having the same interests, the same hobbies, and sometimes could be school friends. This is actually the meaning of social. So social and communication is what we mean by social media. And the definition sent to me by Ahmed al-Sheikh. Uh, if we are uh, using this social media, how to improve it? How to improve the use of social media? There's two roles, role by the government and role by the social media platform organizers themselves. The government have to do the regulation, the policy and the procedures for people to use this social media platform. Our government has to create a balance between social freedom I'm free to do whatever it is, okay? And discipline of people using social media platform. And not because we are living in a free country, you can say whatever it is, to reduce the space of the freedom of other people or to intrude or to upset the other people. My freedom should not upset the freedom of other people. This should be taken by the government. Social media platform have to create, the role of social media platform have to create Firm policies to protect different societies from bad, from extremist people, from radical ideology, and others. And these social media platform organizers or the platform themselves have to protect the children, women, privacy, and all these sort of things. It's not just uh, anybody can say anything and get away with it. Okay? So the role on the, on the government as well as on the organizer of the social media platforms. This means well, the government or the social media platforms should be maintaining the common public taste. 
for each society, for each country, for each culture, for each uh, uh, religion, they have public test, common public test, and the boundaries of their freedom and freedom of others. So the government and the social media platform organizers actually should actually look at the common public test and the boundaries of freedom and freedom of others. Also, uh, they should be establishing regulatory standard, regulatory standard all the time to protect the moral values, the culture of different societies, and the blocking, removing the false and disturbing news, taking legal action even, and penalizing those such individuals who are spreading lies on the social media. This is what actually we look at how to improve the use of social media uh, platform as, as a whole. Uh, we said in, in, in the title of our talk, there are some positives and some negatives of the social media themselves. One of the positive things about the social media is easy communication. It's quite easy to send a message to China, as well as to America, as well as to Sweden, as well as to South Africa at the same time. So easy, very easy, easy, easy communication. It's widely spreading the opinion and thoughts. If some thinkers, like most of you, and if some people have opinion and they want to spread it, it could be done quite easily. Because of the telecommunication advancement that we are watching and observing nowadays. Increase the ability of knowing one another. It's a platform for knowing one another. OK? Uh, and making different relationships in a positive way. Uh, public opinion. We can make public opinion on the social media, like what we see in different parts of the world. Certain issues are actually people are actually uh, through the hashtag or to others see what is actually uh, the public uh, opinion of those people can spread as fast as we can. Like actually last week, it was the 10th anniversary of the conflict in Syria. United Nations, European Union, other international organization, other political organization, social organization, were actually reminding people of, the, of, of, of actually what's happening. So this actually to maintain the public opinion live uh, 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 and kicking about uh, uh, what's happening in Syria. Impact, quick impact. If you want to affect a society, you, the easiest way is to go through social media. And this is what sometimes in a dictatorship regime, they're a little bit scared of the use of social media. And sometimes they block communication in certain countries. You find that actually uh, the internet is not very good. This is number one. Number two is uh, WhatsApp uh, cannot, use, cannot be used for uh, telephone communication or for uh, uh, that. And other countries are doing this same thing. And in certain areas, you find that actually they block the Facebook, they block Twitter, sometimes they block others. So creating good impact in, in, on societies, individuals like you and myself become the source of the information. So we'll be accountable to the information that we use on the social media. From the positive point of view, also become more open with the others, with other people, having more confidence to communicate with people from different cultures and different countries. Uh, becoming also platforms of opinion exchange, as I mentioned before. So you would like to talk about child labor, you'd like to talk about uh, sexual harassment, of women in work at work, uh, you would like to which, which, which call it a safeguarding. You would like to talk about uh, climate change. You would like to talk about uh, animal rights and all these sorts of things. Opinion exchange, becoming platforms of knowing different culture. Of course, when people be proud of their culture, the fashion, the food, 
the values, the religion, the principles, this actually being said, and in the good old days, people used to walk thousands of miles to deliver a message to another nation. Like I remember, uh, people used to come from Andalusia to Baghdad in Iraq to learn, because the knowledge was actually in Kufa, in Basra, and in Baghdad at the time, or in Damascus, or in Cairo. So we used to walk all this distance on foot. Uh, make it easy to advocate for certain people and highlight their issues, like the issue of Kashmir, the issue of Gaza, the issue of uh, the economic situation in Lebanon, the issue of Libya conflict, the issue of South Sudan, the issue of Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, the issue of what's happening in the Central African Republic, uh, the issue of Uyghur in China, the issue of Kashmir in, Kashmir in, in India, and others, and others, and others, and others. Uh, creating new generation of famous people, but could be fake. Because what? Because they have a lot of followers. Because they have a lot of followers. In the good old days, to become a famous, it might take you 20 or 30 years that people start knowing you because there was no much communication between different components of society at the, the 50s and the 40s and the 60s. And even we used to know the information later on, uh, 10 years or 20 years afterwards. The negatives, yes. The negatives, there's no privacy. Once you are on social media, anything, whether Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, even uh, recently, what do you call it? Uh, uh, chat, what, uh, club, uh, cl club, clubhouse? Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, uh, this kind, there's no privacy. And even some intruder can, can go into your private, if you have a, a, a private, uh, account, some even people can come and intrude and hack your private account. Uh, and if, if this could be also influ influencing the algorithm. How the social media from studying your profile, they can let it to uh, be friendly to other people who have the same profile, the same character, the same quality, the same likeness, the same history the same uh, culture, the same values. So influencing uh, algorithms, this means that it shows and shares with the individual information which will have an impact on him or her. Platform of ignorant people. A lot of people who have no, يعني, I don't like to insult anyone. يعني, anybody can say anything and can get away with it. Anybody can sing any song and can get away with it. Anybody can make any music and get away with it. Anybody can do a very stupid things and can get away with it. Actually, this actually becoming actually uh, demeaning for the for our culture and our values and our moralities and producing tasteless taste for the society at the moment. There's an emergence of the slack, laid back individuals, but they have a lot of followers. People think that because people take like, 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 they are actually uh, 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 become very famous. But unfortunately, it is, uh, it is what's happening nowadays. The emergency of a slack laid back generation or individuals, but are having a lot, a lot of followers. On a very stupid thing, on an image on the Instagram or an image on the Facebook or whatever it is. Is they collect data on individuals, and once you are there, they can, uh, like actually, like this uh, case in, in what's happened in Egypt about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, uh, somebody was trying to uh, harass young girl, and uh, they chased him from the name, and they got all his profile on the media, and the police arrested him. Uh, rise of new stars. Who are the new stars? The new stars are not, are not, are new stars, icons, and famous characters, not from among the literate people, 
the professors, the thinkers, the novelists, the poets, the scientists, the thinkers, the journalists, the scholars, but some, some crazy individuals who can make something very crazy and very stupid, so they will have a lot of followers, so they become the superstar. I have one million, I have 10 million, I have 500 million, I have 200 million, I have 50 million, whatever it is. Okay? Which sometimes they do immoral uh, uh, activities. Uh, and when you define morality different from one country to another country, one culture to another culture. Easy to promote and together people who are doing illegal things or corrupt people easily to attract people and to fool people on the social media. Sometimes create conducive atmosphere for what? Conducive atmosphere for what? for polarization, polarization of people, taming people together, dating, wrongly dating people together, and even recruiting, like what we saw of recruiting these young girls who have been taken into uh, Syria a few years ago, and they lost their nationality. Producing opinion polls. During the election, we discovered that during the election in certain countries, the social media was involved with politically in giving some guidance to uh, candidates who are standing for the election from the profile of the people living in this, whether it's a district or governance or, uh, or state or whatever you call it. Producing opinion polls affecting election campaigns and not government by firm morality and regulation, as we said. If, if the government is doing the role rightly, if the platform themselves is doing it rightly, so will be able to govern the use of social media as uh, a new uh, uh, way of communication. Uh, there's some question being raised by some of my young brothers, Ahmed Sheikh, and two other people as well, uh, was giving this question to me to answer it. Sometimes they answer this, sometimes they let me go to put it for you. And as he said, one of them said, the answer is based on personal opinion, not on research. Let us accept what he is saying. In what he's saying, he said that there's a proverb in Arabic who said in the trade and business atmosphere said, if you want to have free service, be sure, be sure of what? That you will become the product or the service itself. If you want to have any free thing, any free service, be sure that you will have or you will become the product of the or the service itself. If you want to have a free service, be sure that you will become the product or the service itself. That's what's happening. We are very happy to have the free service of communication, but I am the product or the service itself. Social networking and communication services was in the past. If people go back when they were old as myself or older than myself, in the 40s or 50s or 60s, it was actually very difficult to communicate, very expensive. Uh, telegram, telephone, telex, uh, faxes, uh, posting by airmail or by ship, parcel, and all these sort of things was expensive. Expensive for people to communicate whether locally or nationally. Even I remember the good old days when in the countryside, the only one, the telephone, will be in the, near, near, near the mayor's office and disconnect from the district to the government. And then the government, the government will connect you to the number in another uh, city or another town in the capital or in the other uh, place in, in the country. It was very expensive at that time and taking much time. Second question is why social media is free? Because they make it free now because of the advancement of, of, of uh, telecommunication, make it free. Because the value of information they obtain from the platform are more valuable than the cost itself. So they will measure or they weigh the value of information that they want against the cost of actually having this 
service giving to the people for, uh, free. And nothing for free, as the proverb was saying in the previous slide. Uh, also, in the past, countries used to, in, in, in political sense or uh, security sense, to spy on one another by sending secret service agents there, investing in heavy and very expensive uh, spying equipment. Nowadays, they don't need to do all this. They can look at the profile of the individual that they suspect of their target, whether he or she, in different parts of the world. That's why. The, the information, this, 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 let us to, to remember what I've been saying many times before, the value of the information is more important than the value of using the social media. Hundred times or a thousand times. Because they can resell this information to other organizations or other politicians or other institutions. Second ask is, why people when they travel to this advanced or developed countries, some of them, they require to provide the information on their social media for the five years previous to applying the visa, for the visa, either to the embassy or to the foreign office. Even if their social media accounts has been closed. This is another big ask collection of information, understanding your profile, understanding where you stand and what you need to do, and studying you and your interests before you enter their own country. In this, in some countries are using this. Another ask is, did social media platform become like open book to analyze our character? Oh, definitely yes. If somebody will look at my profile, my talks, my statement, the images I'm using, and he will put me in one group, which include is some people who have the same mentality, the same philosophy of thinking, and the same culture, and the same maybe values, and, and, and. Yes, it is becoming like an open book. The social media platform has become a good medium closely monitoring us, of course, as I mentioned before. You see, these five or six questions raised by the young people came to me, uh, a week or 10 days ago, is, is what we need to look. We're not against using social media, but we have to know the value, why I'm getting a free service. Because the information I'm providing, the platform is more important, more valuable, more precious than the service itself I'm getting. We chosen five social media platforms to give some examples about the power of social media. Number one is it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's Instagram, it's YouTube and TikTok. There may be more than that, more than that, but actually we need that restricted to this five. Facebook is users is about 2.5 billion. Twitter is 360 to 326 million. Uh, Instagram is in 1 billion. Uh, uh, YouTube is 2 billion users. And TikTok is about nearly uh, 800 million users. So these numbers going up and down because of the speed of change of the social media and using social media, these numbers could be going up and down, but mostly up, not down. If you look at this uh, five, see how many people, how many users are using them, 2.5, uh, 4.5, uh, 5.5. Uh, and nearly, uh, nearly 6.5 billion without making a proper research, 6.5 billion. And these, not, these are not the, the, all the social media platforms. Uh, the number of active social media users around the world is about 3.4 billion. The number of active social media users around the world is using from, through, through their mobiles, it's 3.2 billion. And the average person daily use of social media is 135 minutes by using more than one social media platform. So this is the least, actually, is what, two hours and 15 minutes.
somebody can stay for about five, six, seven hours as well, or more than that. Let us talk about Facebook as the most famous one and the first social media platform which was created in 2004. The number of monthly active users of Facebook is 2 billion. 83 of them are women, 75% of men. Uh, among all internet users, use Facebook. 75% of, of men among all internet users use Facebook. It's very famous. It's number one. 30% of Facebook users are between the age of 25 and 35. 96 of mobile device users use Facebook apps. See the statistics? Which actually, this will be changing all the time because of the speed of change of social media. On an average, five Facebook account will be created actually uh, in one second. That means, I made another calculation, I mentioned it to you now, in a day, it will be 432,000 accounts in a month, it will be 12 million point nine six uh, accounts. In a year, it will be 155 million and 520,000. This is the Facebook only. Uh, five Facebook accounts created every second. More about Facebook. On average, user for the Facebook only, on average, 35 minutes could be more, okay? More than 300 million photos are uploaded daily to Facebook. This is information, incredible information. The average number of friends of Facebook users is about 155 friends per person. And each one of us, on average, have at least 155 friends. 8 billion videos, views per day on Facebook, people watching them. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, one, one minute, two minutes, whatever it is, per day. More than 20 million companies actually on Facebook using the messenger to communicate with their customers. So this is some of the impact of the creation of the social media, particularly the Facebook to start with. The second platform is Instagram. Has over 1 billion active monthly users, 25 million active Instagram accounts, and more, more than 500 million daily active Instagram users worldwide. 50.4% of Instagram users are, are female and 49 are male. The average number of photos uploaded daily on Instagram is 95 million images or photographs. This is Instagram. Twitter, more conservative. Over 326 million monthly active users. 74% of Twitter users use it to get news, news only. That's why it is for elder people. 80% of Twitter users follow through their mobile. Because while you're on the train or a bus, you can keep following or in a car, you keep following uh, that. You don't need to go to the uh, computer. So Twitter, I see, okay. So let us talk about uh, the day of the day of launch and the revenue, as well as who are the creator under age. Facebook uh, was created two thousand and four. I think uh, the income from this platform was about nearly 86 billion dollars in 2020 and the one who created it was uh, 20 years old when it was launched because he was born 
1984. Okay. Twitter is 2006. And uh, the income or the revenue is nearly $5 billion in, 19, in 2019. And created by two people, uh, their age was between 30 and 32 years old. Instagram is uh, 2010 created. And uh, the revenue is about 6.84 in 2019. And a young man at the age of 24. At YouTube is 2005, the revenue was 15.5 billion US dollar. And uh, three people between range, the age range for 2026, 27, 28. Why am I tell you? And TikTok 2020, it starts at 2016. This was launched, relaunched in 2020. The revenue is 20 billion dollar in 2020. And uh, the gentleman who uh, created it or launched it in 2020, uh, his age was 37. Why I'm putting the ages of these individuals? This is a challenge. We talked about the impact, the spread, but now we're talking about who created this platform which changed the whole face of the culture, the values, morality of Earth. These are some of them. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, Kevin Sistron, Instagram, Mike Krieger, Instagram. Of course, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, he launched it when he was 20. That means he might have started at the age of 17 or 18. Okay? You have to do something better than that, young people. Uh, Twitter, Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, and Biz Stone, between 25, 6, and 7 years old. And also Noah Glass. So this is your age, the age of innovation, the age of creativity, not sitting at home doing nothing. Uh, this is YouTube. Uh, again, Chad Hurley, Stephen Chen, Javid Karim, all of them. Young people, young people, not wasting their time and the effort and their life. And the last but not least, uh, Zhang uh, Yeming, uh, TikTok. He is the oldest, he's 37 years old, okay? So I'll let you see them again. Young people, young people, young people manage to make the change, manage to make the change of culture, of values, of communication, of, 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 manage to make revolution, not sitting doing nothing and biting their nails. This was my message. Not about uh, the number of, no, about who created these five platforms. Young people, this message to you, young people. The average age of those who create the five, the top five social media platforms is 26.5 years of age. 26.5. young. Is 20 and the old, the old, the, the eldest or the, the oldest is 37. They may have started thinking about this businesses a few years beforehand, so they might have started at the age of 23 years old or 25 years old. The income of these five platform in one year was above 138 billion dollars. Could be more, could be less. Yes, dollar. And these are actually the uh, the icons of of the of the of the, of the logos. We have seen this message now. I'm coming to the message because I'm not interested. I'm only interested in you, in you, in you, in you. We have seen 
how nine young people like yourself started building the industry of social media that managed to change cultures, values, convictions, and manner of people globally in less than two decades. In less than two decades, they created the five most influential social media platform, which you can Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. There are more as well, more coming. The number of people using these platforms is increasing by the second, not by the minute, not by the day, not by the hour, by the second. And at the same time, such industry they created always evolving itself to produce more platforms most recently clubhouse yes clubhouse that's what i'm trying to mention or to remember so it is a message to you young people the facebook young man was at the age of 18 and the eldest one is at the age of 37 and we are sitting watching television watching others this is my message to all of you nowadays. This is my message. What's my message to you now? Are we going to excessively spend our time using these platforms to an extent that can prevent us from performing our daily duties and activities? This is the first ask. Are we going to constantly keep watching sports competitions, football league matches, and championships, then following the personal lifestyle of their superstars? Are we going to be busy watching action movies, dramas, theatrical plays, listening to songs, music, and living inside the lifestyle of their superstar created by the songwriters, movie directors, producers, and the authors? Is this our job? Is this our job? Are we going to create our own virtual inflatable world to live inside it that has nothing to do with the reality of society surrounding us? Are we going to do that? Are we going to be busy thinking how to make the quick earnings that will make us rich and famous, that will make us millionaire or billionaire and famous? in no time without having the principles of building our social life are we going to live inside illusion 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 of what of our own make which will affect us with boring frustration withdrawal symptoms isolationism polarization even being recruited by other terrorist or uh, radical groups to do certain activities. Are we going to surrender to this? What we should be doing? What we should be doing? What we should be doing? We should be doing the following. First, we should be believing in the society that we are trying to serve. We must, we must, we must believe in the society that we are trying to serve. That's number one. Believing in our ability as individuals, trusting our ability and our capabilities. Believing in gaining relevant scientific, technological, and social knowledge. We keep learning, learning, learning. Knowledge that will enable us to find the right solutions for our social problems gaining the relevant scientific, technological, and social knowledge that will enable us to find the right solutions for our social problems. Believing in bridge building and partnership with others between different individuals, communities, societies, and groups. Believing in trying as many as we can. There is no end for trying to make the, the, the necessary social change that help our community and help humanity. Believing that you and me as individuals can do any job, particularly if it's legal and halal. It's not, it's not, it's, there's no harm of doing a lower job 
to let yourself going on till you prove till you improve yourself, then you get a better job later on. The individual can take any halal and legitimate job, no matter how little is it. Believing in protecting the values, the cultures, the histories, and faith of our societies. Believing that the family is the foundation of our society and the cornerstone of our society. Believing in finding innovative, creative solutions like the nine people have found. Innovative, creative solutions. Innovative, creative, paraphrasing solution can paraphrase the mindset of young people. As we have seen how these nine people did. Believing in that, that they can make it to try to paraf paraphrase the mindset of young people. Believing that patience and perseverance are the solid part of of our enabling characteristics needed to make the necessary social change. Without patience and perseverance, we cannot succeed. Believing that the journey of the 1,000 mile is starting with one step, but in the right direction. We know where to go how to go and how to reach the, the end of the 1,000 miles. I don't have a magic solution for you. I don't have the stick of Moses for you. I don't have the ability of Jesus for you, alayhi salam. And what I am saying, judgment that we might agree or disagree with. It is interpretive judgment. You take it or leave it. I don't have the stake of Moses, the miracle of Jesus, alayhi salam, or the Quran. Because what I'm saying is not Quran. But I'm influenced by them. Young people, please let us draw together a social roadmap to build our society, create a new culture and values that can resist these aggressive, vicious, and vicious cultural attacks by others, leading to societal divisions, community displacement, and homelessness of people. Are we going to walk the first step of defending the dimensions of the problem facing our societies, or we are going to be secluded, separated, isolated from the reality of the social life surrounding us? Are we going to walk the first step of defining the dimensions of the problems facing our societies, or we are going to be secluded, separated, and isolated, and isolated from the life surrounding us. This is my last message to the young people. My last message to the young people, we have to be innovative, creative, and motivating others. We should not be sitting at home actually doing nothing. The people who do nothing are wasting their life, wasting their effort, wasting their talent, and wasting everything that Allah has granted them to have. So please let us draw together social roadmap to try to build our society, create new culture and values that can resist these aggressive and vicious cultural attack by others, leading to societal division, communities displacement, and homelessness of people? Are we going to walk the first step of defining the dimension of the problems facing our societies, or are or we are, or are we going to be secluded? separated, isolated from the reality of the social life surrounding us. This is my last ask 
and challenged all of you. So uh, next week, will be having question and answer. So if you would like to have any questions, just send it to us on actually the uh, humanitarian, social, and charitable work. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the problem of the internet. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.